First time ever cameras have been allowed inside the Scientology Center in Sacramento. Kristen Marshall getting an exclusive look around. Good morning, Kristen. Yeah, we're uh, live this morning now on the fifth floor, right outside of the uh, auditing waiting center. We're talking to Henry this morning. He's a musician, a jazz musician, who joined the Scientology Church uh, just right around the 80s. And you said it kind of drew you in after you got a book, and uh, you had some reservations, a little bit controversial in the beginning. But as a musician, some of the auditing that you've done, which is where they bring up what? Uh, I dealt with all kinds of like problems and reservations and my relationships with people. You know, I had uh, a tumultuous relationship with a girlfriend and, and it fixed all that. And, and you've stuck with it and you're continuing to get the auditing. And um, there's, you know, rumors that go around with any religion. There's rumors that there, this is an electrical shock that you're getting. Is that true? No, I've never been shocked. Okay. <laughs> Maybe shocked by the results, right? <laughs> In a positive sense, yeah. 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 Okay, so we're going to head down and show you some of the uh, auditing rooms this way. And uh, you'd be amazed. It's like pristine in here, museum quality, beautiful, white walls, clean floor, everybody is smiling and happy. And uh, here is where we enter the auditing area. So there are some folks in session. Some of these are out of session right now. We're going to take you into one of the rooms in the back corner and uh, maybe go through a little bit of an audit. So Aaron, you're here back with us. You've got the room set up. So to explain to the folks at home who would be sitting where and what, what this means. Okay, so Kristen, you would be the parishioner and I would be the auditor, Scientology spirit, Spiritual Counselor. And what we do is a very precise process to actually enable you to locate moments in your past of trauma, upset, stress, unconsciousness, and actually relieve those on your presence so they're no longer affecting you in the here and now. So to do a little bit of a demo, this is what me as the parishioner, I would be holding these. That's right. Okay. Hopefully you guys can still hear me with the mic here. <laughs> okay. So okay. I'm going to pick up the candle, ask you to take off your rings. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> okay. So I'll give you just a quick demonstration. So hold them comfortably like that. Okay. Good. And this is what? Explain here. Let me move this a little bit louder and just talk nice and loud for me. Okay, great. So this is an e-meter. This is basically a tool that we use in Scientology auditing to help a person to actually find those moments of stress that we talked about. It's just a guide. It doesn't do anything or say anything in itself, but it guides the, the auditing session. Can you ask me a question? Sure. Or, so these are hollow. Please see through here. They kind of feel like as light as soup cans with nothing in them. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, good. So I could ask you a question such as... Uh-oh. There's your anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm failing. No, okay. So go ahead. Okay, good. So think of a problem. Okay. Good. Did you see that registration? No, there? I was... You were thinking, <laughs> thinking of the your camera. problem. <laughs> I was thinking of the problem. So what, explain what the, you think the needle, is, or what the needle is showing us. It's really just a reaction. So if I were the auditor, then I would ask you what you thought of, and then you could tell me what that was. It's as simple as that. And, you know, the e-meter in itself doesn't do anything. It doesn't tell you anything other than I'm simply... I'm not admitting to a crime. Or, right, yeah. simply that, you know, there was an answer there, and there wow. might be some stress, um, something that you have your attention on that could then be used to guide the auditing session and help you to relieve yourself of what those things are that you ran into in life. Wow, and this place is huge. It's also a hysterical, a historical landmark dating back to like the 1920s. The outside has been restored. There are some areas out there with tiling work and iron work that have been restored. And coming up later on CBS, we're going to have a full in-depth showing of some of the other rooms that we couldn't get to or get a signal out of. So it's pretty amazing. Exclusive yeah. access here seen on Good Day Sacramento. Back to you. All right, Kristen, we appreciate the insight this morning. Very interesting.